had to have so much security. There was not enough. I was swarmed. It's all on video. Everyone can see this. But I will tell you what's on video is Jamal Bowman shouting at the top of his lungs, cursing, calling me a horrible, calling me a white supremacist, which I take great offense to. That is like calling a person of color the N-word, which should never happen. Calling me a white supremacist is equal to that, and that is wrong. What's up, everybody? Major Retire Richard Ojeda here, and Marge the Trainwreck Green tried to be both the victim and the hero in her latest twisted version of reality. Marge the Trainwreck Green recalled her experience in New York City when she tried to bring her delusional bullhorn message to the people, but got drowned out by dog whistles and run out of town. Marge sat boo-hooing in the back of an SUV about how unfair she had been treated. Jamal Bowman was down there cursing at me, telling me to get the F out of there, and he was leading the mob right outside the vehicle I was sitting in. We have this all on video. And then... At, on the Capitol steps yesterday, he was the one that approached me. Even CNN reported that. Yelling, shouting, raising his voice. He has aggressive, uh, his, his physical mannerisms are aggressive. She recalled that Jamal Bowman shouting at her at the top of his lungs, cursing, calling her a white supremacist, which she said she took great offense to. That it's like calling a person of color the N-word. I think there's a lot of concern about Jamal Bowman. So, and, and I am concerned about it. I feel threatened by him. Um, he not only led a mob, mob there, but his boisterous lies. The Georgia Three Toad Jacqueline went on to whine that she felt intimidated by Jamal Bowman. She said that his physical mannerisms were aggressive. She said that she felt threatened by him saying that she's offended by being called a white supremacist while saying that the mannerisms of black people make her feel threatened exposes her hypocrisy. Marge is an absolute disgrace. When the Georgia Jacqueline was running for office a few years ago, she suggested that Muslims do not belong in government. She claimed that black people are held slaves to the Democratic Party and that she would feel proud to see a Confederate monument if she were black because it symbolizes progress made since the Civil War. One reply on social media summed up Marge's agenda. It said, Trumpism isn't politics. It's a long-standing violence and intimidation generation machine. It's racism, fascism, and lies combined to further fracture social divisions and deteriorate societal stress points. Marge the Trainwreck Green is a miserable excuse of a lawmaker. She has pushed QAnon conspiracies and hateful rhetoric since she has been elected, and her attack on Representative Jamal Bowman is underhanded. Marge was mostly ignored by Republican leadership for the first two years, but she has been assigned to prominent committees recently because of backroom deals with Kevin McCarthy. It's rumored that she keeps McCarthy's junk at the bottom of her purse since those backroom meetings. Marge is another Republican, do as I say, not as I do, Jacqueline. She is an absolute disgrace, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.